needs to do. You see, God began to establish something in this man's life that will bring the people of God back to himself. All right. See, 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 God allowed this man of God to come and share the word of God that would draw those of us that's in this place right here back to God. We, 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 we forgot about those false gods that we used to serve. You know, that, that God of alcoholism and, and heroin and, and crackers. But God sent the man with a word. At this time, you know, it's more popular to, to hang out with the crowd, but to stand on what thus says the Lord, it takes commitment. It takes obedience, knowing that I heard from the Lord. Oh, so to say you're blessed in this place today, that at a time like this, while man is not going to the left nor to the right, but standing on what thus says the Lord, that takes commitment. That's commitment. You know, forgetting all about ourselves, but trusting in God. Being obedient to what God said. I, 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 I can just see Jeff right now sitting back at his church with his pastor and God calling him and sending him out to do the work. God says, arise and you go eastward. God says, you arise and you go eastward. And there I have commanded the raven to sustain you there. Now, 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 now here this church. That's why it's so important that we be obedient to the word of God. 